Hey, it's Joy. Welcome back to another Whimsy Stamps video. Today, I've got a haunted mansion inspired card. We're going to start out by using the wood grain background stamp. And I am inking that up with Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink. You could use whatever you want. I chose an oxide because they're chalkier. And then from there, I am using my previously die cut slimline treehouse mini slim line treehouse and i'm using my stamp backer just not to get my hands inky now i'm taking my trimmer and i line up the part that i want to cut straight with the bar and then i scoot it down all the way to the end of the trimmer and that's how i get my straight lines you see here on screen that i am using the magic mushrooms and i'm going to demonstrate those first just to mention i'm using seedless preserves chip sapphire and prized ribbon in my background so the first thing that you saw with the magic mushroom was i used them dry as if they you know i hadn't primed them or anything and you see that they go down kind of blotchy and you get those harsh circles and that would be true with any type of dauber that you would use whether it's a brush or a finger dauber or whatever makeup brush so for the magic mushrooms what i'm showing you is i've got a little bit of water and i'm dipping that down and i'm wringing them out gently gently is the key because you don't want to break them off and as you dip the water and it absorbs they almost double in size off camera i'm also dabbing that off onto a microfiber cloth you could use a paper towel whatever you've got in your craft room but you do see those ridges that's where you're starting to see where it's starting to expand and once you get those ridges you're going to want it to submerge them again so it soaks up even more water and then you wring them out again very gentle so that you don't break them off you don't want to twist them and here i've got the blue and the purple and i showed you what the original size was here's where the magic in the magic mushroom happened when you swirl them in your ink you don't have to use a lot of ink and look how smooth that goes down so you're not only getting a very smooth blend but you're also getting you're using less ink so you're getting more bang for your buck so i'm just showing you the difference we're going to move into the background here in a minute but i just really wanted you to see how the magic mushrooms work versus some of the other daubers and makeup sp sponges that are out on the market these are available in the whimsy shop these are by local king rubber stamps but you can find all of that linked in the description box below now i am speeding this up so for my first part of my inking i am using prized ribbon distress ink and i am using both a blending technique and a um, pouncing method you can use either one with this sponge in, in particular um, and so once I get a nice blend on this I move forward with any type of blending I always tell you guys to go back and at least do it two times I didn't do that here in this video because we're gonna make more layers on our background but I wanted you to know that I'm breaking my rules because usually I stick very um, true to my methods next i'm bringing in the chip sapphire and to be honest with you um i don't really see a huge difference in the gradient in color i don't even think it would be necessary to use you know you just choose one of the blues or any blue that you have in your stash um, this is really about the technique it's really not about um, what product i'm using so any dye ink that you have would be fine after I get this blend, I move into the seedless preserves, and that's just because I'm going to make a night sky. And so you've got the gradient with the night sky where the, like, you know, you've got the different colors of blues, purples. You could even add black if you wanted. In fact, that was my original intent, but I didn't. Here I am bringing in the Illusions background stamp. And I took the backer off. I've got that stuck down to my glass uh, board and I'm just using that as my tool. I'm using my distress sprayer just to um, add some water. You could use any sprayer that you want. I like the distress sprayer because it's a fine mist. And then I am putting that entire inked background down there and I'm just um, getting it all over my hands. That's kind of what I'm showing you, but you could use a paper towel if you wanted to. I don't really care at this point. 
So I used the seedless preserves and we're getting a really cool texture. So where I told you I normally do a soft blend, it didn't matter. Here I am using the Moon from Howling Nights die set and I am blending antique linen to stress oxide because I think the oxide gives the really cool appearance of the Moon. I am using the Grass and Cloud Edger and I'm taking the same antique linen and giving that a glow. Then over the cemetery from the Howling Night, I added Hickory Smoke. Using my Barely Art Glue, which is also uh, found in the Whimsy Shop, I glued that to the top left corner. Here I'm using some Best Ever Craft Tape. If you don't have this yellow tape, you could use um, any yellow paper that you have. You know that I'm a lazy crafter and I use what's next to me, so that's what we've got. Here I'm using my glue again. You could use dry adhesive if you want, double backed. Um, you're just putting that down on to the page. Get it down, get it down and dirty. Let's get it done. From here, um, I am going to bring in the grass that we cut from the grass and cloud edger. I did pop that up on foam tape and I'm putting that towards the bottom. This one I am putting um, flush with the bottom and then for the cemetery par portion of the Howling Nights die, I only put the foam tape where I had the most surface and as per my usual I used my glue so that I had a little bit of wiggle room. Um, that just seems to help me and I made sure to line that up where I wanted but now you see that with the antique linen hillside it looks like it's glowing and then using my guillotine trimmer I am just lopping off those edges so that we've got straight edges from where I had um, left the moon overhang overhanging and the cemetery overhanging. There's that. Now I am using the um, three different ghosts from the Boo die set and I'm just placing those around. I use kind of the smaller ghost because we've got such a small scene. If you wanted uh, a bigger scene, obviously make a mini slimline or a slimline card, but I'm an A2 kind of girl. I think you guys kind of know that by now. So you could pop these up. You know that that's, that's my jam, but today I didn't um, because I did pop up the boo. Now I lost some footage of that, but I just used some thin pieces of foam tape and I am putting the boo down at the bottom, kind of cattywampus along the hillside. Um, I think maybe I'm jumping ahead here a little bit. No, um, I put that onto a black um, panel, which I didn't show as well. Here I am using some blue to black shifting gems, just putting those kind of in a triangular, you know, our, our number, our um, power threes that we always talk about. And I just do that to add some shimmer and shine. I think it turned out super cool. I added that to a card base. Here are the final looks at my card zooming in and out. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here at Whimsy. We really do appreciate all of the time that you spend with us. And until next time, keep crafting, friends. Bye-bye.